Uploading tutorial. Synchronize. Hey there, Passive Lion community. Based on some of the feedback I've been receiving, I decided to make this tutorial a little bit different. If you're looking to install Victor's animated battles with character sets, proceed to part 1. If you already have them installed and would like to know how to create skills, proceed to part 3. If you'd like to install Victor's animated battles with Holder's animated battlers, then keep watching this video. You're in the right place. First things first, we're going to have to download the scripts from Victor's WordPress site. To do that, click on the script download button, which will open up a Dropbox file. From here, you can highlight and copy and paste, or my personal favorite, save as a document file. Place that in an easy to find location, we'll need it later. Now it's time to head on down to Holder's Animated Battlers page in the RPG Maker forum. He doesn't offer these on his WordPress, so make sure you save them and put them in an easy-to-find location. We'll be needing them later. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using the battlers Melia Duel, Veins, Mira, and Alicia. And for our enemy, a blue slime. Now this step is purely cosmetic, but may help you in the long run. Head to your database and change the name of your actors to match those that you saved in your files. Do this for each member of your party. Once you finish this step, you're ready to head on to the next one, installing the script. Before you begin to copy and paste the scripts over, make sure that you've properly set up the space that you're going to be pasting them over into. In order for each script to function properly, you have to have them placed in this order. Basic module on top, animated battlers, and then actors battlers on bottom. Now you're ready to copy and paste over the scripts. Make sure to save often. Now it's time to import the battlers into our project. But before we can do that, we have to make sure they're each properly named first. In order for the script to read them, they have to have the animation tag placed at the end of the file name. Now you're ready to import all four battlers into the battlers folder under your resource manager. You can bring in all four at once by control clicking or holding shift and highlighting the remaining three, then pressing open. Make sure that you set your transparency color for each of the battlers. You should now successfully install the battlers. Now we move on to probably the most difficult step, modifying the script. Make sure you're in the animated battlers script and keep scrolling until you find this section. Just below the thief entry, hit enter to make a new one. Enter in the name of your first battler between two apostrophes. Holder's battlers have exactly four frames and 14 rows. We'll set the mirror value to false since we want our battlers to remain facing the targets. We won't worry about invert and we'll move directly to mode, which will be sprite in our case. At this point, you'll hit a new line and type in Action. We'll set our action to Default. Don't forget to close off this line of text. Now you'll want to copy and paste this for the remainder of your party, changing only the names in between. Apply and hit OK. Now pay careful attention to the note box in the bottom right hand corner. This is the command that we use to tell the script to use this battle for this actor. Make sure to do the same for the rest of the party. This step is not essential, but will help the player better connect their actor's weapon with how they appear on screen. As you can see, I'm modifying the class's weapon by clicking Edit, or I can also make a new entry which would allow me to have both swords and axes for my actor's class.
Now I'm able to assign a sword to Melia Duel, which makes more sense considering the way he appears in battles. Keep in mind the weapon icons won't appear in battle for holders animated battlers as they do with character sets. If you want to make a brand new class from scratch, but keep the ones that came with VX Ace, just change the maximum. Now you can have free reign to create any kind of class you want, but still keep the ones that came with the program beforehand. If you've already tested a battle, you may have noticed that our archer tends to run forward and smack the enemy with his bow. In order to stop that, we have to input these note tags into the note box. Head on back to Victor's WordPress site, and back to the animated battler's user manual. Here's where you can see a list of attacks that can be modified through note tags. The ones that we want to use that'll only show up for holders animated battlers are the bow attacks. Because of the nature of Victor's script, we'll also need to download the arrow image. To do this, simply highlight over the arrow, right click it, and save the image to an easy to find location. You'll only need the arrow if you're using holders animated battlers, and make sure that it's named arrow with a capital A. Then, go back into your project, open the resource manager, click on the pictures folder, and then import, as you would, any other kind of battler or image. Now, we're going to want to set up our simple battle event. For the purpose of this demo, we'll be utilizing the slime as our enemy. Head into Battle Processing and select Slime from the Troop List. Now before we can test our battle, let's make sure that the troops are set up in such a way that we can still see the other party members attacking our slimes. We'll also want to make sure that all the actors we were just previously working on are inside our party. To do that, double click below the current actor you have and select the next one you want to add in. We're now ready to preview our game. The party seems to have loaded in just fine. Let's test the battle with our slime. Looks like the battlers are running just fine. They've played their intro animation correctly, and when we start attacking with them, you'll notice that each one plays their animations for attack perfectly. So far, so good. However, what about animating the enemies? There's still one step we haven't done. It's time to import that slime we picked up from Holder earlier. Go into your Resource Manager, into the Battlers folder, and click Import. Then find your slime image and bring him in. Don't forget to set his transparency. Now head to your database and go to the Enemies tab, and click on Slime. Add in this note tag you see here. This allows Victor's script to read the Slime Battler as the exact same battler we want to use in the game. Now, head into Victor's script and go down to where we created the entries earlier. You'll want to make a new one for the slime. It should look relatively the same, with a few minor changes that I'll go over in a second. As you can see, it's all pretty much the same, except for this entry right here. Mirror is now set to True. This will allow the battler to be flipped to face your party. As long as everything reads well, hit Apply and then OK. It's now time to test your game. Oh, hold up guys, you can't forget step 10, that's subscribe. If you like this video and this tutorial and want to see more things like it, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button up there. 
just looks like that. Boop, like it's painless. It's harmless. Trust me, it's fine. And also, make sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see tutorial on in the future. If you like this tutorial, or if you just want to give me some kind of feedback, or if you thought this could have gone a little bit better. Also, make sure you like, hit that like button, hit the share, share it with your friends, tell everybody about it. I do apologize, guys. The main website is still down for construction, but it will be up very soon with tons of updates, articles, game reviews. Definitely worth checking out. So when that is up and running, I will let you guys know through the YouTube channel, on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever you guys can get in contact with me, I will let you know. Don't you worry. Until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood, Passive Line, signing out. Victor's Animated Battles. We've all seen the videos, and we've even looked at the user manual. But there's still something we're missing to get it working with our own projects. Luckily, Passive Line is here to show you just how to do that. <laughs>